From desert shadows to pulsing reefs and tangled jungles, these creatures wield Zia's stunning colors and chemical weapons that can overwhelm in seconds. Some bring silent paralysis, others deliver agony burning through bone, and a few are so stealthy you'll never see them coming. Which species tops nature's lethal ranking? Let's begin the countdown with number 10. Number 10 prowls beneath moonlit dunes, a sand yellow shadow armed with one of nature's most potent neurotoxins. The Deathstalker scorpion slips through the deserts of North Africa and the Middle East, its slender frame barely stirring the surface. When prey draws near, the tail arches high, poised in a perfect arc, then strikes with electric speed. Venom floods the victim's nerves in seconds, bringing instant collapse to insects and small creatures. Even in the cool silence of night, this miniature hunter commands respect. Its sting a warning written in the language of pain, and the danger only grows from here. Scarlet armor glows beneath tangled leaves as the Indian red scorpion stalks the humid lowlands of South Asia. Its body, flushed with dusk red, moves in silence, waiting for the perfect moment. When prey brushes past, a thick twitching tail rises, then plunges down, flooding the victim's body with venom. This is no ordinary sting. The toxin surges through the bloodstream, swelling the lungs, crushing breath, and forcing silence from within. As monsoon rains dark in the ground, these scorpions thrive, their vibrant shells a warning and a lure. Beauty and danger entwined, the Indian red scorpion's power suffocates from the inside out. The wild only grows deadlier from here. Hidden among the coral rubble, the stonefish dissolves into the sea floor. Its rough skin and mottled colors a perfect match for sunlit rocks and drifting sand. Motionless, it waits in shallow lagoons and tidal flats from Australia to Indonesia. A master of disguise and waters where shadows flicker and danger is never far away. But beneath this quiet exterior lies a row of 13 venomous spines, each primed to erupt with the slightest touch. When pressure triggers the spines, Venom surges out, igniting agony so fierce it's compared to burning alive, pain that sears through flesh and bone, leaving prey paralyzed and helpless. Fish and small creatures that wander too close are struck down in an instant, never seeing their killer until it's too late. The stonefish's silent ambush turns the ocean floor into a minefield, where every step could unleash nature's most excruciating secret, and the sea holds even stranger dangers ahead. A shell as beautiful as a painted jewel rests on the tide flats of the Indo-Pacific. Patterns spiral across its surface, drawing the eye and tempting the curious. But beneath that ornate armor, the cone snail hides a weapon unlike any other, a flexible proboscis tipped with a venomous harpoon. When a fish or small creature drifts too close, the snail fires its dart in a blink, delivering a cocktail of conotoxins that paralyze in seconds. The prey never stands a chance. One touch and muscles freeze, life suspended by invisible threads. Each shell conceals a silent assassin, its elegance masking a power that can stop a heart before the danger is even seen. In the world of deadly beauty, nothing is quite what it seems. A flash of electric blue pulses through a tide pool, lighting up the sand like a warning sign. No bigger than a golf ball, the blue-ringed octopus glides between rocks in the shallows of the Indo-Pacific. Its skin shimmers with hypnotic rings, each one a living signal, stay away. When threatened, the colors intensify, a silent alarm that danger is near. It moves with delicate precision, arms trailing behind, searching for crabs and shrimp. But the real secret lies hidden in its tiny tiny beak. One painless nip delivers tetrodotoxin, a neurotoxin so powerful it can silence muscles and stop breathing within minutes. There's no sound, no struggle, just sudden paralysis as if the sea itself has gone quiet. In a world where beauty often hides danger, the blue ringed octopus is proof that the deadliest threats can come in the smallest, most dazzling forms. The countdown is about to meet its fiercest land hunter yet. A shadow glides across the sun-baked clay of central Australia, blending perfectly with the dust and broken grass. The inland taipan moves in silence, its earth-toned scales catching the faintest shimmer of morning light. This is the ghost of the outback. 
a serpent so elusive that few ever see it, yet it carries the most powerful venom of any snake alive. When it hunts, hesitation vanishes. In a heartbeat, the Taipan unleashes a rapid fire burst of strikes, each one loaded with a venom so complex that no other snake can match its chemical force. Prey stands no chance, paralysis sweeps through in moments, and escape is impossible. Yet the Taipan remains the phantom, slipping away before danger has a name. Its unmatched power is hidden in plain sight, a master of stealth whose presence is felt only in the aftermath of its attack. The countdown now turns to predators that dominate not just with strength, but with the sheer volume of venom they command. A shadow glides through the emerald gloom of Southeast Asia's forests, rising up with a regal flare. The King Cobra towers above the leaf litter, hood unfurled in a display that commands the entire jungle to take notice. Its scales shimmer bronze and olive, catching the filtered sunlight as it moves with slow, deliberate power. When threatened, a deep hiss rolls out, a sound that vibrates through the undergrowth, warning all to keep their distance. Unlike other snakes that rely on a drop of concentrated venom, the King Cobra overwhelms with sheer volume. Each strike unleashes a torrent, the largest venom yield of any snake alive, enough to bring down even the mightiest rivals. This giant is a hunter of serpents, tracking its own kind with unblinking focus, swallowing prey almost as long as itself. In the wild theater of the rainforest, no other snake stands taller or more feared. But in the world of venom, size is only one kind of danger. The countdown is about to plunge into the realm of swift marine killers, where a single brush can mean instant doom. A translucent bell pulses just beneath the turquoise surface, almost vanishing against the shifting light. This is the box jellyfish, an ethereal predator whose beauty is matched only by its deadliness. From the shallows of the Indo-Pacific lagoons, its long silken tentacles drift for meters behind, trailing millions of invisible stinging cells. Each brush unleashes a storm of venom, firing in a fraction of a second. Prey caught in these threads has no time to escape. Paralysis sweeps through their bodies as the nematocysts discharge, overwhelming nerves and muscles before the water even settles. The box jellyfish glides with ghostly calm, its movements powered by gentle pulses, drifting through mangrove creeks and sandy bays where danger hides in plain sight. When the seasonal blooms arrive, the ocean fills with these silent assassins, turning paradise into a minefield. Against this nearly invisible hunter, even the swiftest swimmers can be claimed in moments, but the ocean holds a final threat, one even smaller and more elusive than this. Deep beneath the dripping ferns of Australia's coastal forests, a silk-lined tunnel waits in the night. At its mouth, armored legs brace and glossy black fangs gleam, ready to strike. The Sydney funnel web spider rules this patch of earth, guarding its burrow with a fury that rivals any predator. Each movement is charged with purpose. If a beetle brushes the trip lines, the spider surges forward in a blur, sinking fangs so sharp they pierce bark and even a leather boot. Venom pours in, a powerful neurotoxin that seizes nerves and stills the heart of any intruder. These fangs are as long as a small claw, and their bite is a warning written in the dark. Damp air clings to the forest floor, amplifying every twitch of silk and shadow. The spider's aggression is legendary, its lightning ambush is turning the quiet undergrowth into a place of sudden violence. With every strike, the Sydney funnel web proves that on land, even the smallest hunters can wield the power of giants. But the wild still hides one final threat, smaller, stranger, and deadlier than all the rest. Barely the size of a thumbprint, the Irukandji jellyfish drifts through the warm shallows of northern Australia and the Pacific, nearly invisible in the turquoise haze. Its bell is clear as glass, its tentacles as fine as silk threads, vanishing in the swirl of lagoon currents. But when this phantom stings, the ocean erupts inside the body. Venom floods every nerve, setting off a storm of pain that sweeps from the skin to the bones and deep into the heart. Victims are racked with agony, muscles clenching, skin burning, a crushing tightness gripping the chest. Some describe a sense of dread so powerful it feels like the world is ending. 
Scientists call it Irukandji syndrome, hours of relentless torment, sometimes ending in collapse or heart failure. During the summer bloom, these jellyfish gather in hidden clouds, closing beaches and sending shockwaves through coastal towns. The smallest creature on the list, yet the most fearsome, proof that in nature the deadliest threats are often the hardest to see. From the amber sands of the Deathstalker scorpion to the near-invisible terror of the Irukandji jellyfish, our countdown has revealed nature's most lethal masters of venom. Across all 10 entries, one pattern is clear. Deadliness is not defined by size or strength, but by stealth, surprise, and chemical power. Many of the most dangerous, like the blue-ringed octopus and cone snail, are small, brilliantly colored, and almost unnoticeable until it's too late. Others, like the King Cobra and Box Jellyfish combine striking presence with overwhelming volume or speed. The most shocking twist, the tiniest near-transparent jellyfish claims the crown, proving that beauty and threat can be inseparable in the wild. This list shows that Venom is one of evolution's most versatile weapons, surfacing in deserts, jungles, reefs, and tide pools alike. In the end, these animals remind us, in the animal kingdom, survival often means wielding the deadliest bite, sting, or strike no matter how delicate or dazzling the disguise.